Crispy and fluffy Belgian style waffles served with berries and freshly whipped cream. The ultimate weekend brunch. Start with the dry ingredients for the waffle batter. Some all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt and a little sugar to sweeten things up. Measure out the flour, baking powder and salt and sip into a large mixing bowl. Lastly, add the sugar as the crystals are too large to fit through the sieve. Belgian style waffles are traditionally made with a yeast batter as the rising agent. This produces very light and fluffy waffles, but you do need to give the yeast time to develop. More often than not, these waffles are now made with baking powder instead, which means they only take about a quarter of the time to make. This recipe uses a tablespoon of baking powder, which may seem like a lot, but trust me, it produces the best waffles. Crispy on the outside, and so light and fluffy on the inside. If you would like the full recipe for these Belgian waffles, it will be on my website as well as the full measurements listed in the information box below. Make sure to subscribe, I'll have a few more delicious dessert recipes coming up soon, including tiramisu. Thank you to everyone who has suggested it. Give the dry ingredients a quick mix through with a whisk so everything is evenly combined and set to the side. Along with baking powder as the rising agent for these waffles, eggs are also used. Separate two medium sized free range eggs, placing the whites in a clean bowl and the yolks in with the dry ingredients. The yolks will get mixed in with the rest of the wet ingredients to form the waffle batter, while the whites will get whipped to stiff peaks and folded in later. Whipping the egg whites incorporates so much air into the batter, but this does mean an extra step which takes time. I think it's well worth the effort for the perfect waffles, but if you are in a rush or you simply want to make these waffles as simple as possible, you can skip this step and mix the eggs into the batter whole. Set the egg whites to the side, we'll whip those soon. In the same bowl as the dry ingredients and the egg yolks, measure out a third of a cup of a neutral oil like vegetable or canola and pour it in. You can substitute butter in place or something like coconut oil if you would prefer. I like to use oil, it's easy to use, there's no need to melt it like butter and I find it gives a better crunch to the waffles. Add some vanilla for taste and about 2 cups of whole milk. Again, whole milk works best for these waffles but if you would like to substitute for skim or non-dairy, you can too. Use a whisk to mix the waffle batter together. It'll be quite runny and lumpy, this is perfectly okay, just stop mixing as soon as you no longer see any dry flour. Set the waffle batter to the side while we whip up the egg whites. This is easiest with a hand mixer, but if you don't have one you can do it by hand, it'll just take quite a while longer. Whip the whites until they double in volume and form stiff peaks. When you remove the beaters from the bowl, the egg whites should hold their shape. This should take about 2-3 minutes with a hand mixer, or about 5 minutes if you're doing it by hand. If you don't have the patience to whisk by hand for 5 minutes, just get them to the stage of being very frothy. It still works perfectly. Let me know in the comments what your favourite thing to have for brunch is, whether that's what you love to make at home or go out on the weekend and get. Eggs Benedict is always my go-to with perfectly poached eggs, but pancakes are also a good choice. Gently fold the whipped egg whites into the waffle batter with a wooden spoon. The batter will become a lot thicker and have a very light and fluffy texture with the amount of air that is being incorporated. Exactly what you want for the best waffles. This should make around 5 or 6 waffles, so if you are cooking for less, it's pretty easy to just halve the recipe. Although these waffles keep so well in the freezer, they're great to have on hand for when you want something easy without having to do much cooking.
Heat up your waffle iron, preferably a Belgian waffle iron with a large grid pattern like the one I'm using. These waffles are pretty good at not sticking with the oil they contain, but you can still spray the waffle iron with a non-stick or brush it with a little melted butter. Scoop out the waffle batter, pour it into the centre of the waffle iron. Close the lid and flip it if your waffle iron can and leave to cook for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. I can't tell you exactly what measurement to put into the waffle iron. Mine takes about 3 quarters of a cup for the perfect waffle, but your waffle iron may take a bit more or a little less. Have a play around with the amounts, start with about half a cup and you'll soon work out how much you need. I'm using a cup measurement but not filling it with the whole amount. This works out to make about 5 or 6 waffles, but yours may make a little more or a little less. Check the waffle halfway through after about 4-5 to five minutes. You'll know it's cooked when it has an even brown colour and is crispy to the touch. Remove the waffle from the iron with some tongs and set to the side while you continue to make the remaining waffles. The waffles are best served straight out of the iron while they are still hot and crispy. If you would rather serve them all at once, heat your oven to about 180 degrees celsius or 350 fahrenheit and place the waffles on a single layer on a cooling rack. Leave them in the oven while you continue cooking and they'll stay extra crunchy and perfect until you're ready to serve. These waffles make the perfect weekend brunch when you have more time to cook. I'm serving my waffles with freshly whipped cream, berries, a dusting of icing sugar and some maple syrup. They go with just about anything, banana, bacon, yogurt or for dessert, chocolate and ice cream. Let me know what your favourite toppings for waffles are. I would love to see a picture if you make these for brunch. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video.